Because I've got most beautiful love I'll always feel like this forever Because of you Good morning guys, it's like I don't even know how long it is. It's late. It's like um, it's like one ish, but we actually have a reservation to go parasailing at two fifteen. We have to be there twenty minutes early to fill up paperwork and stuff. We need to ship Katie's breast milk over to Natalie in Colorado, and we also have a jet ski sunset tour at six tonight. And we'd like for the mailing Katie's breast milk. We have to get like a. Package and then we have to get dry ice and all this stuff. So it's we're really busy right now. Um, and then also Katie finished editing. I don't know where it is. Her laptop, anyways. But Katie finished editing that like 23 minute long video of us just traveling here, and it got corrupted. So now we have to redo that, but we don't have time for it. So we're probably gonna be a late upload tonight. Katie's trying to figure out the milk thing. I've been setting reservations for today and tomorrow. You guys are going to get to see it because we got a GoPro now, so you'll get to see the parasailing and the jet skiing. Um, the only problem that I'm thinking we might have is the amount of footage that we have on the SD cards. We only have like an hour, I think, and the parasailing is like an hour and a half, and the jet skiing, we have two hours, so we might have to go get another card to keep all the footage, but I guess we'll see. Hi. Right now we are on our way to go parasailing. And I have literally called almost every single rental company for jet skis. And I mean, you can rent a jet ski, you just want to rent it during sunset, we can't do that, so. Yeah, apparently in Florida there's a law where you can't rent a jet ski like 60 minutes prior to sunset or something like that. But, I don't know. So we're trying to figure all that out, but right now we're going parasailing and we haven't eaten anything and it's two o'clock, yeah. so. And we also have to send back milk today, and we have to buy dry ice and a cooler, a cooler. and then be at UPS by five. By five. It's fine. We're okay. Just in case you guys are wondering. There's big cojones right there. Too. There's big cojones. We're gonna go here Saturday, hopefully. And there's like a water park and also like a theme park. Yeah, there's place. two different parks. So the water park's open until six, and the theme park's open until nine. I'm excited to go there. Same. We are here. This is so cool. It's so small. It's so, such good quality. Let's get it.
we're done. That was awesome. That was so awesome. We got all of it on the GoPro. So when we were up there, we saw like, let's see, we saw dolphins. We saw school dolphins. We saw a bunch of jellyfish. We, um, let's see what else did we see. Oh yeah, there was like a, a Coast Guard convoy that flew right by us, like right in above front of us. us yeah. Like above us. And, um, there was like people hanging out the back and everything like that. And they also gave us like a like a dip, is what it's called, or like they just dip you underwater before they bring you in. And it is so hot here, so that felt really good. But right now, we haven't eaten anything all day and it is four o'clock. Why do we always do that? I don't know. It's just because we sleep in so late and then by the time we're all ready and everything, then we have to leave and go do stuff. But we're gonna stop by Taco Bell, just cause, even though Katie doesn't like Taco Bell. I don't like Taco Bell. Yeah. She, she doesn't really like Mexican food in general. Um, but I'm just gonna get something quick to eat and then we're gonna go get some dry ice and some packaging um, For her breast milk to send it back to Natalie So we still got a busy day, but it turns out that Jet skiing, I don't think we're gonna be able to I do don't it. think it's gonna work out It's either I'm jet skiing, sure. it's either jet skiing or dolphin tours and I'm pretty sure Katie will want dolphin tours over Oh, jet I skiing. do. No, we saw dolphins. Like I, I'm good. Oh, we are? Okay, so we might jet ski tomorrow Tomorrow night, I'll look into it. But um, yeah, I'm trying to figure that. I just want to jet ski. That's all I want to do. I know. Then let's go jet ski. I like, know. I love jet skiing. I've been jet skiing so many times, and but I've never been in like Florida or like coastal. I've only been in like Colorado on like a lake. So that's the plan for right now. We're pulling up to Taco Bell currently, and that was so fun. Yeah, I'm trying to get the GoPro footage. Uh, well, I'm trying to get the GoPro footage on my very nice crackle phone. So, I'm gonna try to do this. You know when you go to Taco Bell, you have to get a Baja Blast, right Katie? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Katie doesn't even like soda and she had it and it was good. It's good. Yeah, it is good. Yeah, but we're just waiting on our food. Alright, so we have got our food. After waiting a million years. Yeah, after waiting forever. Katie was super petty and asked for two waters, which I would have too because it took forever. I didn't I ask for two waters. I know, I would have asked for two waters, but... Oh, well, she didn't give it to me, and we were waiting in line. Well, we waited at the window for probably 10 minutes. Just and like, and we were the only car. She just like shoved it, the food in our face, and I was like, I had a water too. And she just like didn't even say anything and turned around. I know. This is one of the things about working at Chick fil A is when you go to other fast food restaurants, you're like, why? Like, you can be nice. Like, yeah. We have to deal with crappy guests, and we still have to be like super nice to them. So I don't know; it just doesn't make sense to me. So now we are on our way to Publix to get some dry ice in our containers. After and like 30 minutes. Yeah, after 30 minutes, and now we're on a time crunch, and we're late again. So yeah, thanks Taco Bell. Thanks Love Taco. You. Just kidding. Hopefully they'll let Katie in like this. Hopefully. Hopefully, one can only hope. So let's see, we have 15 minutes to get dry ice in the container. Let's just hope they have it here at Publix, which I've never heard of. Which is okay, because she's heard of it. It's fine. It's just like a grocery store. And then the uh, UPS store is right down the road right there, so she'll be able to make it hopefully. You know when you're about to eat something and you're just like, oh that sounds so good. And then you eat it and you're like immediately regret it and like think, that was a bad idea. Yeah, that's me right now. Shouldn't have eaten Taco Bell. And I'm being stared at, but I don't care. And then you guys. We just need five pounds. Oh <laughs> I have the package. We have dry ice, we have a cooler, we have breast milk. Now we just need to go in. It's covered by the tree, never mind. We need help. That was not just $300. That was $300 hey, hey. to ship overnight. What? 
I mean, it happened though, so it happened. Oh my god. She it's was fine. like, she was like, Anna, she was like, hee hee, like, are you still gonna do it? No, we have to, it's fine. Oh my god. Welcome to Florida. No, I, I don't know if it's fun. No, I, I, I guarantee you it's like a nationwide. Oh wow. It's fine. Well, if you think of it overnight that far, think of where it has to go. We just go all the way to Colorado. Yeah, true. Okay, the lighting is like extremely bad right now because the sun's setting, but I couldn't handle that $300 shipment, and so we went back and we, we took it out. It. So, my milk is somewhere. Where is it? Oh, yeah, it's right there. There's my milk. And we're just, my mom was like, I'd rather her drink a $25 can of formula than shipping $300 overnight. Like, it's just not worth it. $300. I know some moms are out there like, my baby can only have breast milk. You know? No. Like, that little girl, she can drink formula. I'm not paying $300 for her to drink some breast milk. Like, my boobies will be... Like what do you what do you 